Hi guys. Hi guys. What are we gonna read today? We're gonna read the cook up fairy tales. You know what fairy tales are? So fairy tales are um imaginations, but but she is gonna get cooked up. So she fairy is... tales are fair are stories that are not possible, right? They're not true. Um yeah. And they've been passed down for many years and generations. So this is kind of a mixed up one. It's a bunch of different fairy tales all together. A cooked up fairy tale. Although William lived in a magical land of fairy tales, he preferred pastries to princesses, kingdom, ki kitchens to kitch kingdoms, and recipes to the royal reporter. William dreamed of being a chef a chef known throughout the land, whether sauteed, sifted, basted, or baked, pureed, poached, filleted, or flaked, William's dishes were perfect. But cooking, cooking happily ever after was a different story. He tried working at the brick house. What, what fairy tale is that one from? Do you know X? What fairy tale is this one from? Um, the Three Little Pigs. That's right. But the menu was too dangerous. Because it says pot of wolf stew and it's an ingredient to make wolf stew. And what's in the closet? A wolf. Yeah, or multiple wolves. Uh, he served a porridge at the Three Bears Bistro. What fairy tale is that one from? The Three Little Bears. Is it? Or is it Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Gold, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. That's right. But folks, there were two persnickety. What's a um, persnickety? That's a great question. I mean, two persnickety, two choosy. They want very specific things. It's hard to get them exactly what they want. And he baked for the gingerbread on the go. And that had ended well either. What story tale, what fairy tale is that one? Um, the gingerbread man. Mm-hmm. Was... Yep, that's right. William decided he better cook from home, but his pantry was almost bare, so he emptied the last few coins from his cookie jar and headed to the market. So he was going, and then there's this the truck driving by, and it goes bounce, 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 and there's a box that lands there, and it says, To Judy, Chief of Fairy Tale Headquarters, Fairy Tale Food, must be delivered for bedtime. What's this? asked William. Fairy Tale Food? It must be splendid. But it was only raw apples, beans, and a pumpkin. This isn't splendid, said William. Clearly, Fairy Tale Headquarters needs a good chef to spice things up before bedtime. So he sliced and diced, chopped and topped, stirred and why, whirred. Why, how did he make that meat? meat? He didn't. It was in the box. And that is apples. Uh, then he packed up his delectable creations and followed the signs to Fairy Tale Headquarters. Judy, I need the apples and I need the beans. The pumpkins, Judy, the pumpkins. Where can that delivery be? Asked Judy in a stew. So the witch was asking for apples. What story is that from? Snow White. Right. And then this guy was asking for beans, and that's Jack and the Beanstalk. And the mice were asking for the pumpkin, which is from Cinderella. I believe I can help, said William. May I present baked apples with caramelized drizzle, bean soup with smoked ham, and pumpkin pie with cream and candied pecans. Who? What? Why? stammered Judy. I need shiny apples, raw beans, and a whole pumpkin. Don't you know anything about fairy tales? I'm sorry, said William. I read cookbooks, not fairy tales. What's a cookbook? Making pies. So it tells you how to make things. So different types of food. So it's like it has recipes in it. Maybe I could. You, you've cooked up enough trouble, said Judy. It's bedtime. The tales must begin. Now leave and take this book of fairy tales with you. William plopped down outside the kingdom wall and opened the book. Poisoned apples? Beanstalk? 
Pumpkin coach? Oh my, said William. Fairy tales really do have their own ingredients. He rushed back to find Judy. What rush? Oh, quickly. He went back in as fast as he could. Did I spoil the apple story? He blurted out. Snow White, actually, she loved your baked apples and ate every one. She was so stuffed that she fell into a deep sleep. Of course, this caused a stir with the dwarves. But then there was a passing prince and a kiss so happily ever after. Thank goodness, said William. And the bean story? Look at the prince and princess have apple uh, all over their face. Because they were eating her apple, caramelized apple, his caramelized apples. Jack and the Beanstalk. The giant said something like, fee fi fo bum I smell soup and I want some. Jack was in a panic. And he drove a hard bargain and traded the no, pot of... No, no, Jack was in a pickle. You're right. Jack was in a pickle, but he drove a hard bargain and traded the pot of soup for a giant, the giant's castle in the clouds, another happily ever after. Such a relief, said William. What about the pumpkin tail? Uh-oh. Cinderella is still unfolding. We'll find out together. Oh no, said William. This is a recipe for disaster. What I, is she sitting in? Pumpkin pie. That is so silly. But, but why did, and then when, when he saw her slip and what? And then, and then her shoe got it off her, um, and then. So it goes. Then, slip, flip, whack, her shoe hits him in the head, but it's covered in pumpkin pie. And then he says, smack, and he licks his lips. Mm -mm. And the horse is even licking him. Rumptious, he said the prince, simply delicious. He took another bite and said, I vow to search all the land until I find the baker of this pie. Cinderella slumped in her puddle of pumpkin. This isn't happily ever after, sighed Judy. Happily ever after, murmured William. He strode right into the fairy tale. Your Highness, I baked the pie and I'll bake you pies ever after. But may I suggest you can have your pie and princess too? The princess gazed at Cinderella. You're a feast for my eyes, he said. Would you care to dance? My, my, said Judy. It looks like you've cooked up another happy no, ending. No, that princess. I know, um, the, the, who's this? The prince. Oh, the prince, um, gazed at her and my, and she said, you're a beauty for my eyes. Would you care to dance? Yeah. And from that night forward, the prince and princess ate like kings and queens, and William cooked happily ever after. I think they, I think he had. The end. That was a silly story, but oh. I enjoyed it.